What's up guys, Bird Game here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today, well, we're on our main account, and we're gonna do something that a lot of people have been asking for, actually, and they kind of miss, and that is some Flame Shrine Guild Boss action, so... Uh, it actually has been quite a while since we've thrown our Sword Flash into combat here. Uh, we do need to finish setting up these heroes with all... De wait, wait, okay, I was like, wait a minute, where'd my demon bells go? Uh, we're gonna do a full energy feed setup here. Wow, that feels weird to not have, like, a high stone on our Heart Watcher, but I don't think we're gonna need it. I don't think we are. Um... Let's take a look here. So we have precision, armor, break, armor. What? <laughs> it's been a long time since I've even touched this one here. So let's go crit, crit damage, right? So we got crit, crit damage. And I think what I'm going to do, I almost want to run 100% skill damage because this affects her active ability. I feel like skill damage is going to be better than her like holy damage. Uh, the reason why we're not going to run like armor break here. Oh, we got the right stone. All that stuff looks good. The reason why is because we have uh, a bleed. We have the, the wolf and we have a bleed kind of going on here. And we have Drake. So we don't really need armor break, especially because we're going back to that synergy between our sword flash and our Drake. And I'm hoping I have everything set up the way I want this. Holy damage, crit, crit damage. I think all this looks good. Let's go into it. We only have two battles today because I already had our uh our auto hitting happening and yeah we won't be anywhere on the list whatsoever just because we've been using the idol master which is like a horrible way to do your flame shrine but let's see how this actually turns out so we got her core on as well which her core doesn't really do anything i guess it's going to help survivability wise damn power still over 105 million that's crazy I think I have everything set up. We don't need any CC Purify or anything like that just because, well, it's Sigmund. And I think this is going to be fine. With two Rogans, I'm sure the healing is going to be fine. Plus, we have, like, Max Star Spawn. I don't even think, like, Heart Watcher has a chance to die early rounds anymore. So, I think we're in a good spot here. And we do have all those demon bells. There's no energy draining going on. So that means we are definitely going to have maximum value here. It's kind of nice having like the Drake Sword Flash combo back instead of the Vesa. I know the Vesa probably would still do more damage nowadays. But the fact that we got her at level 100 and doing all this damage, maybe, maybe she just pops off. Is it going to be anywhere near like what an Ithaca could do? No, definitely not. I'm hoping it's comparable to what our Vesa would normally do. Uh, I was trying to see if there's a better Transcendence Hero to put in over a Rogan as well, just to see if their core did something. But none of the cores we have would really be all that effective. So, yeah, it is what it is. All right, looking good, looking good. Sword Flash is just popping off, as always. What's her damage already looking like? It's decent. It's decent. I just feel like Vesa hits so many times where they're active, it just ends up being so devastating. The one downside with our Sword Flash is she never gets like those nice big AoE attacks off. I wonder if, honestly, I should put our Sword Flash in slot one. Oh, there's the big AoE. Nice. Um, very rarely she'll get it, but occasionally she will. Uh, yeah, because if they do the basic attack on her, what's better? The extra ping damage or the counter attack damage? I don't know. I honestly feel like her counter attack damage might be more. Let's see what happens. So, okay, she got hit there. That's like two hits of 1790. Let's see her active. Hitting pretty strong. Let's get through this part. Okay, now let's see this. So, 2431 versus 13. Yeah, I don't know. I almost feel like putting her in the first slot might be the better option. It actually might be better damage. Which is weird because you usually want the queen being the one getting hit. But if she has all these stacks of counterattacks... For Sword Flash's damage, it will probably be better, I'd imagine. And man, I can't wait to get this A copy. We're, we're going to save up. We're going to get it, guys. Don't worry. Don't you worry. We're going to get that A copy. We just got to wait and find one that's in like a decent price range to buy out. 
All right, so round 15, we have one more wolf active coming. All right, let's see this sword flash. I mean, it's, it's all right. It's all right. It doesn't seem like anything super impressive, to be honest. I am intrigued, though, to see the difference here in a minute. So 12 trillion, right? Million, billion, trillion. Yeah, so I mean, like, it's decent damage. It's decent. 11 trillion. Yes, we will say that's decent. What are these numbers they're putting up at the top? What's beyond trillion? Isn't zillion not like an actual number? There, oh my god, the numbers are going so high up lately. All right, let's change one thing with our formation. Let's go to our deploy. Let's just put both of you in the front of the lineup. Gonna put her in slot one to so the basic tax, guarantee hit her. Let's see if that makes any difference whatsoever in this combat. So she is in that first slot now. That is good. Let's see what happens. My guess is like every single one of her layers should be gone at some point, which I guess could be good or bad. Because like if her layers then disappear and she doesn't have counterattacks, then that's not as good because then she is wasted damage that the queen would have forced her to do. But like this round, there's going to be three basics. So she should counterattack on every single... Well, she only got one layer. Hmm. I guess we have to high roll the second layer for it to really matter or have like one of the AoEs not actually hit the sword flash. Like we keep only going to one here. <laughs> this is not working out the way I wanted it to. Darn it. I uh, gotta love the demon bell energy feed though. So there's one. Yeah, she's only getting like one layer. I will say the combat is going to go a lot faster. This will guarantee she gets all of her hits off, but... A lot less ping damage from the Queen's Royal Guard. Like, this round's fine because she has multiple layers of it. But then that third layer is just, a, or like, the third attack on her is kind of a whiff. I really guess it is RNG-based depending on if the actives actually hit her. But, like, the actives can hit any target. Like, right there, it still hit Queen, even though she's in slot two. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think it's going to be higher or lower? Not bad. Luckily, the actives have been hitting the queen. We just need to get, like, extra layers. We need this active to miss the sword flash and then the two basics to hit her. Yes, that, that's perfect. Well, she only had one layer. Ah, I think it's only, what, like a 50% chance she can get additional layer of that uh, sharpness, right? I think it's called sharpness. And there's so many abilities in the game with so many heroes, and there's so many, like, branch abilities that, like... Keeping track of everything nowadays feels like it is a struggle. Good active. I uh, should get one more with a wolf active in round 15 again, which is perfect. Get tons of wolf actives, which is awesome. Good hit. All right, here we go. Here's the wolf. And then final round of sword flash hitting. It's so hard to tell because the damage numbers like bug out constantly. And she'll get two more uh, counterattacks, one at least. There we go. So, I mean, it actually seems like it was higher, guaranteeing all of those layers to actually pop off. So, interesting. Very interesting. It did push us up the leaderboard even a bit on the last day just by doing this like in a try hard type mode. So,. Yeah, not that bad. Now, what we're going to do next, though, is we're going to go in and we're going to see if we can kind of duplicate this and do like a broken spaces in only nine tickets. I think last month I just smashed it and I was like really, really close. So we'll try it again. We'll see how it works out. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Back to some of our roots here with some flame shrine action. I'll see you guys next time.